is welcome to Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind, but then it's you oh. Don't talk about it like you're crazy You know damn well I can't replace you Just say what, say what you mean Don't waste your time being mad at me Say what it is six o'clock and we have done one percent better than we did yesterday i'm not talking too loudly because it is very early and everybody is still asleep but yay we did it we are one percent better than yesterday i have been wanting to get up at six o'clock for such a long time but every time i do i it will i don't obviously so um every time the alarm goes off i just hit snooze and i go back to sleep because i'm just exhausted and i just cannot get up at that time but today I made a promise to myself that I'm going to do it I'm going to get up and I'm going to have some me time and I smashed that snooze button and I got up and was it a shock to the system yes it was <laughs> my body's like what the hell are you doing to me why are we up so early this is not right this is not good Why are we up this early? Let's go back to sleep. You're a crazy, crazy, crazy woman. But I did it. I made a promise to myself that I wanted to get up this early because I want some me time before everybody gets before everybody else gets up and all the noise and the chaos and the day starts. So I want that hour to myself to meditate and journal and do some stretches and even yes, go on a walk. I know, crazy like what the hell's going on who is this woman <laughs> six o'clock walk like that's unheard of but yeah i definitely wanted some me time for myself so i did it i got up i'm one percent better than yesterday if you know you know um but yeah so i'm gonna now get up and go to the toilet before i bust myself and do some me things and have some me time before the day starts and the craziness starts and that way at least i know that i'm starting my day off on the right foot i'm doing something solely for me because i've been journaling and a lot of breakthroughs are coming through and i love that um that's bloody amazing so i'm super happy with that so yeah we're gonna do that me time start the day right and yeah let's let's just do it let's just mm rise above and, and live life for ourselves so yeah do things that make us feel amazing so yeah enough chit chat because we didn't get up at six o'clock just chit chat although i could i could talk anybody's ear off i could talk with a mouthful of marbles underwater but that's not the point all right Don't hi guys and welcome back to another video so today i thought i've been feeling i've been feeling really slack and really lazy lately very unmotivated and feeling very very frumpy and that's not a good feeling that we want to have so today i thought right let's turn that frown around let's let's start doing the little things start getting motivated because we're not going to achieve our goals if we keep sitting here mindlessly scrolling through facebook and instagram and all those time wasters <laughs> we're not going to get anywhere if we don't actually start doing the little things and you know, even one little extra thing a day is going to build up to the bigger picture. Those things that we don't necessarily want to do, but we have to do, um, which is for me is like the tedious little things I always put off and put off and put off. And we don't want to build a habit around that. I've been reading Atomic Habits. Yes, I have. It's a great book. With, it's a game changer. You know, it gives you little steps and things to do to start working towards your goals and your habits and to put things in place and to make things easy. As, us as humans are not going to do things if we think it's going to be hard and the effort put into something hard, you know what I mean? It outweighs the results. So if we think it's hard, we ain't going to do it. We're going to choose the easy way. We're just humans. It's just the way we are. So, <clears throat> so today I thought I'd bring you along and we'll start doing the little tedious things. And for me, just doing a few little things one day at a time is enough for me because then I feel like I'm making progress and then I can build on top of that. So a little bit of a time. I've written a list. Yes, I did check it twice and I'm making sure I get it done. If not today, it will be done in two days. We're not pushing ourselves, guys. We can't go from zero to 100 in, like, two seconds. We, you know, we've got to build upon it. But as long as I get this list done within two days, I'll be happy with that. So, yeah. 
So we're going to do that. We're going to feel great. We're going to get motivated. We're going to change our life and we're going to stop being so lazy. It's okay to have lazy days, but not constant lazy days where you feel like you're just wasting your time. And I, I tend to do that. Like I'll be, um, sitting here going, okay, I want to change my life. I need to do these things. I need to get motivated. And then I'll just sit and watch YouTube. And then that night I'll be like, oh, all right, we'll start tomorrow. We can't keep starting tomorrow. We've got to start today at some point. So that's this day. And I've been doing a lot of journaling, which has been absolutely amazing. I've been making a lot of breakthroughs, like I said earlier, and that feels incredible, incredible. And I really had a great one last night. So we're going to be productive. We're going to try and get this list done. And if I don't, we'll come back tomorrow and we'll finish it. So yeah, let's not be hard on ourselves. At least if a little progress is some progress. So let's get stuck into it. Let's get it done and let's just feel amazing. <sighs> and on that note, I could sit here and talk all day, but that's not going to get me towards getting it done. So let's get into it. And we got to love that. Why is my camera being really, really weird? I don't know. Task one done. Yay! We're feeling productive already. Let's keep going. But first, I think I need some water. Damn, this floor gets dirty so quickly. What the hell? I got just vacuumed it yesterday and it's filthy again, so don't ask me why. I have no idea. But it's vacuumed again and I can guarantee you by tonight it'll be vacuuming again. Vacuuming again. Yay! Love that! productive we're feeling good sorry if it sounds really echoey in here just got the laundry on first load on ready to go i'm sure i'll have another load very very shortly but we've got the towels on we're getting that done and okay so i need to go to the toilet again for like the hundredth time today if you drink oat milk can you please comment below if, it, if your body acts like it's water? My body thinks your oat milk is water and I'm constantly going to the toilet. I had one glass this morning of oat milk with my chai and this is like the fifth time I've gone to the toilet. I don't know what's going on, whether my body thinks it's water, but this going to the toilet every five seconds is kind of like really freaking frustrating, but I love oat milk. So it's like, you gotta choose your battle, oat milk, or pee a thousand times, or no oat milk, and don't pee. A very big dilemma. But anyway, we're gonna <laughs> go do some exercise. Okay, we're all set up, ready to go, ready to do our exercise, ready to do our movement, get the heart pumping and flowing, and start really feeling good, because when I do exercise, I do feel really good in my mind. I do feel really calm and, yeah, just, that peace just comes through and that's because I know that I'm taking special time for myself to do something that I love and that is good for me. Not Maybe not feeling it today, but the more I do it, I'll feel it in the future. So feeling good, feeling amazing. I'm not going to record on this camera because I just cannot get the angle right. And it's frustrating and it's really annoying. And I'm going to get a different camera with a wider angle. So that will be so much easier. I'm going to record on my phone. Why am I talking so fast? I don't know. <sighs> okay. So. We're gonna do that, but I'm already recorded on my phone. Um, but yeah, and then we're gonna have something to eat, but I don't know what I'm going to have because there's not much in there. Actually, I might have a salad wrap. That sounds good. Why am I thinking about food when I haven't even moved yet? Crazy. All right, let's get the moving done. Then we can worry about something to eat. 
That sounds like a plan. All right, let's get moving. <laughs> Okay, before I go and make lunch, first of all, I think I need to go back to beginner classes. I know that sounds terrible, but my fitness level and my endurance and my strength is just not there anymore. So I think I'm going to do that and go back to the beginner classes. Whew. Okay, before I go make lunch, I think I already just said that. I just want to quickly come in here and say that being that girl for me isn't realistic. And honestly, I don't want to, I know it's all the rage at the moment, but I really don't want to be that girl. Some days I feel productive, some days I feel lazy, some days I feel motivated, some days I want to do something else, and that's okay. We need to honour those moments in our lives instead of trying to strive to be like somebody else. Instead of striving to try and be like somebody else, just do what matters to you. Do what feels good for you. If you want to move your body, move your body. If you want to sit down watching Netflix all day, do that. There's so many things going around about being that girl and sometimes it's just unrealistic and we put so much pressure on ourselves to achieve the same as somebody else and their lives are completely different to your life. They may have the time to do it. They might um, enjoy doing certain things which you don't enjoy. I basically got to fit my things in around my children so sometimes I just cannot do it and I don't want to put that much pressure on myself to be like somebody else when they're living their lives and their lives is completely different to mine. I don't want that pressure on myself. I don't want to feel like crap if I don't achieve the same things as everybody else does. Sometimes I might get up at six o'clock. Sometimes I might want to sleep in, you know. It's all good. It's live your life how you want to live it and really just do what makes you feel good. Don't worry about what anybody else is doing because they might only do that, that girl routine for one day and that's it. You just don't know what goes on behind the scenes. So yeah, just do what makes you feel good. Do what lifts you up and just try and be, don't be that girl, be you girl. Be you, that's it. That's all you need to do. I think I'm gonna make some lunch now and um, yeah, but I just wanted to come in and say that because I think we strive so much to, to do what's in at the moment and it's just, yeah, unrealistic. Don't put that pressure on yourselves. Live your life, enjoy every moment and that's all that matters. All right, I'm gonna go have some lunch now. decided to go with googly eggs instead of a salad wrap and as I said we're really gonna change our mind here it's all good I've got no food on my face because that would not be a good look. Um, I've got to go now, put the towels in the dryer, still got a load of folding to do, cannot remember what was on that list now. I know I've got to make phone calls, but I can't even remember what was on my list. Oh my god, I need to go back and watch my own video and see what was on the list. <laughs> 
but we're getting it done. We're making progress. We're doing things that we need to do. We're feeling good. But as I said, if I don't get it all done, I'm not going to get upset. I'm not going to get peeved off. It's just life. That's life. Why am I singing? You don't want to hear my singing. You didn't come here to hear my singing. Okay. So, yeah. Now we're going to go do that and let my food digest because that toast was a little bit burnt. Mm, it was well done. Let's just say that. So, yeah. Anyway. Well, that's it, guys. My kids are home. So, that's me done for the day. I don't really do anything else after the kids get home because my energy goes then into them and their homework and whatnot. So, yep. <laughs> I'm sitting down with a piece of cake my son made at school and it's quite good actually it's a really yummy raisin and banana bread Mwah. love it when he brings food home from school <laughs> always a plus so yeah did I get everything done on my list no did I get most of it done kind of I didn't get the folding done I didn't get the snacks done um, there was probably something I didn't call the people that I needed to call, but you know what? It's okay. Tomorrow's another day. We'll do it again tomorrow. I'm not worrying about it because each little new habit that we bring in, each new, little new step we do each day brings us closer and closer to, be, to forming a habit in our lives, one that we want to bring in that makes our lives so much better and amazing and beautiful and however you want it to be. So yeah, it's all good. Um, it is what it is. We did our best with what we could. We didn't get it all done, but we gave it a good shot. So that's all that matters. I quickly touched base on that girl. This is not what this video is about, being that girl, but I see so many people posting about being that girl and I love the energy that they put behind those sort of videos. But for me, at the moment that sort of thing's not realistic but I love watching them and I just don't want you to feel bad or you know not good enough because you're trying to live up that up to that expectation if you know what I mean um, just do what you need to do do what makes you feel good do what makes you feel amazing at the end of the day that's all that matters we're not here to impress anybody else but ourselves and live our lives for ourselves um, but if there's something in those videos that you want to incorporate into your life for sure do it um, I think it's amazing watching people live their amazing most best lives ever I think that's just so inspiring and uplifting and motivating but I'm not going to beat myself up if I can't live up to that expe expectation just yet <laughs> life is a journey life is a learning curve that's all you know it's just a journey so yes but anyway I'm going to end it here I really hope you enjoyed this video I'm starting to learn to realize that I just need to be myself on camera and stop trying to be somebody else um, bring my energy and my authenticity to the videos and just be me and that's all that matters at the end of the day um, instead of trying to be something that I'm not I'm goofy I'm silly I'm crazy I'll bust out a move wherever I am just to get a moment's joy in my life. So, yeah. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really helps my channel grow. And I really, really appreciate it. And I love you all. So, until the next one, guys. Keep being you. Keep rocking. Stay divine. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome, too. Friends are nearby. Don't need another view. Time